Stand Assist devices, like all ergonomic and mobility aids, are designed to prevent caregiver injury and to make patient transfers and lifting easier, safer, and more comfortable for the patient. Some advantages of Stand Assist devices are they are simple and safe to use, do not require any track system, and can be easily rolled about to access care areas where a ceiling lift system is not available. This video covers the use of the PRISM SGA440. Further information can be found in the owner's manual packaged with each lift. The SGA440 is designed to assist in seated to seated transfers as well as aid in standing during rehabilitation. The patient should have the ability to follow commands, moderate trunk and upper extremity control, including good grip strength and weight bearing ability. Components of the SGA440 are the mast, the actuator, the boom and yoke, which allows for seven inches of adjustable length, sling connection hooks with safety clips, patient grab handles, ergonomic push handles used by the caregiver to move the device, shin pads with adjustable height and width, safety straps with buckles for securing the patient's legs, a foot plate, legs which come standard with three inch locking wheels with a total height of four and a half inches, a manual leg width spreader with a minimum leg spread measuring 22 and a half inches at the inner front end of the legs and a maximum leg spread measuring 35 and a half inches, a battery pack, emergency off button, Onboard charger and LED status indicator are combined in one component. To turn the unit off, press the red emergency button in. To turn the unit on, rotate the red button clockwise until it pops out to the on position. The LED indicator shows the lift count, up-down operation, battery charge status, when the unit is charging, and when service is recommended. A hand controller with up and down buttons may be stored on the hanger on the mast. These buttons can also be found on the control unit located under the emergency off button. A charging cord to be plugged into a standard outlet. The unit will not operate when it is plugged in. Optional wall mount chargers and additional batteries are available for units with high usage. The SGA440 can be lowered in an emergency by lifting the red tab on the actuator piston. This will only activate when there is a load on the boom. The safe working load, as seen on the label on the mast, is 440 pounds. The lift range is 21 and a half inches. Follow the Stand Aid Sling Sizing Chart to choose the best size sling for your patient. Assure each component is within the safe working load for the planned lift. Make sure the patient has the appropriate physical and cognitive abilities necessary to assist or cooperate with the lift. Clear the lift area of obstructions and assure that the surface you are transferring the patient to is ready and well positioned. Visually inspect the sling before each use. Discard and replace the sling if any signs of damage, wear, tear, or fraying are found. Apply the Stand Aid Sling from a seated position centered on the patient. Use the hand pouch if needed to position the sling. Wrap the body of the sling around the patient's torso with the patient's arms on the outside of the sling. Wrap the belt around the patient's torso and secure tightly with the Velcro strips and buckle. With the sling properly applied to the patient, Spread the device's legs if needed and move the lift towards the patient. Have them place their feet fully on the foot plate and shins against the shin pads. Lock the wheels. Adjust the height of the shin pads so the top of the pads are two to three inches below the patient's knee. Adjust the width of the shin pad so the patient's shins are vertical. Secure the safety strap around the patient's legs. Adjust the yoke to the desired length to reach the patient and connect the sling loops to the connection hooks. 
The point of connection will be determined by how the patient is seated and how high you would like to raise them with the lift. Once connected, instruct the patient to hold on to the grab handles and lean back into the sling. Check that the loops are properly connected to the hooks. Press the up button to begin to raise the patient off their seat. Pause and check to see that the sling is well positioned and feels safe and comfortable. If not, lower the patient and make the adjustments needed and then raise them to the desired position. Hang the hand control on the carry hook. Unlock the wheels and transfer the patient to the desired seated location. Lock the wheels and lower. Unhook the sling loops from the connection hooks. Unfasten the safety straps from around the patient's legs. Unlock the wheels and move the lift out of the way and into a safe area. Remove the sling from the patient. Plug the lift into charge whenever it's not in use. This will allow for best battery life and performance. The orange LED light will indicate the unit is charging. At a full charge, the light will dim. If your unit cannot be plugged in, remove the battery cap, squeeze the metal release lever, lift and remove the battery. Then place it on the wall mounted charger. Once charged, replace the battery and battery cap. For more information, please call us at 866-891-6502 or visit our website prismmedicalinc.com.